Hey guys, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Wow, one year has flown by. It's exactly one year since I released my first YouTube video. Uh, the start of the pandemic, we did our first official lockdown in April. And I was used to seeing, you know, 120 plus patients a week. And instead, we shut our doors down and only had it open to patients who needed to be seen on an emergent basis. And so because I missed my patients, I actually started a YouTube channel, just put up a phone and started talking to the camera about sunscreen and retinoids and moisturizers, the moisturizers I couldn't live without. And now one year later, it's just um, been so great to meet you all. And I'm really appreciative of the support and the positivity on the channel. So I hope to keep this going. The celebration of the channel's first birthday, I wanted to talk about a nice retinol that you can find over the counter. This one is CeraVe's Resurfacing Retinol Serum. So you might know that I like CeraVe quite a bit and a lot of us dermatologists recommend this brand. And it gets almost comical that that's like our go-to answers. Someone asks us, uh, what cleanser should I use or sunscreen or moisturizer? It's always gonna be CeraVe on the list. So there is truth to that. There are things that I feel like they could have done better. But there's no perfect skincare brand out there. All of the brands have their own weaknesses, but also their strengths. And I was surprised to see CeraVe getting into the retinol game and coming in strong. So the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum is found at Target, Amazon. You may even find it at your local drugstore. But it's a really nice, compact, airtight pump that is very portable. You can bring it on your trips if you need a retinol when you go on vacation. And if you're in a climate that you're skin is not used to you might have more sensitivity so say if i go to a drier climate or more humid climate i might not respond to my regular skincare and you might want to do something less intense less strong so a retinol might be for you and as you know i like retinoids for multiple reasons i like them for anti-aging purposes because it helps thicken up your collagen and your second layer of skin and your dermis it helps keep your pores clean so for those with blackheads especially on the nose with um face mask use this helps keep them clear and if you have acne in general it helps with different forms of acne and also it helps with brown spots and lightening those brown spots that we may have gotten from the sun me coming from hawaii i definitely had sun freckles that i was able to lighten with retinoid creams the term retinoid is the universal umbrella term for all things retinoid whether it's over-the-counter retinol retinol or retinaldehyde or prescription strength stuff that i prescribe tretinoin, tazeratine, adapalene 0.3%, or the newer triferritine. Those are all prescription retinoids. Alpha Ret is uh, one of my favorite retinoids that I sell in my clinic, and you have to see me to get that prescription, although I am hearing people are able to get that over the, um, the internet, so uh, without seeing anyone, which is news to me. When I first joined up with Skin Better Science, they had told me you had to see a doctor to be um, to be given that medication. I like that one a lot because it utilizes uh, alpha hydroxy acids and such with the retinoid. But we can talk about that in another video. So let's talk about CeraVe. And let's go through the ingredients really quickly. So again, their blend of ceramides and CeraVe is what makes CeraVe CeraVe. It has the three essential ceramides in it. That ceramides are important for your skin barrier uh, to help repair it. If you have eczema, dry skin, sensitive skin, ceramides are important in helping rebuild that wall, which is your skin. Your skin's your first line of defense, keeping good things in and bad things out. So ceramides, very important. It also has licorice root extract. Um, licorice root extract apparently has many uh, benefits and it contains many antioxidants. So by having antioxidants, it helps with brightening your skin. It also helps with lightening those dark spots. So the sunspots we talked about before, it'll work with your retinoid or your retinol in this to help lighten those. So retinoid increases cell turnover and the licorice root extract will also give you a brightening effect and lighten those dark spots as well. This also has niacinamide, which is one of our favorite ingredients out of the skincare world. Vitamin B3 is really nice. It's anti-inflammatory and it's great for acne prone skin. This also has retinol, which is encapsulated. Encapsulated retinol is nice because it keeps it stable. Retinol, uh, retinol can be very unstable with sunlight, heat. So definitely keep this in a cool area, all your retinoids in a, a, a cool area, but it's also encapsulated so that it can actually hopefully last a little longer. I say whether it's photostable or not, always use your retinoid at bedtime as much as possible. There are formulations where it's okay to use during the daytime, but I just feel like you want it to be as max full potential uh, when you apply it, use it at night so that you can have it on your skin 
why you sleep, let it do its thing. A lot of collagen production does happen overnight while we sleep. And then the next day when you wake up, you could wash your face, put your sunscreen on and do your thing throughout the day. So where does this go in the regimen? You wanna do this after you cleanse, but not right after you cleanse when your skin's too damp. You wanna wait for it to dry. So you could, you know, wash, cleanse your face with something gentle. You could also do really a benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid cleanser if you need to keep your pores clean and need some um, antibacterial benefits from your benzoyl peroxide. I actually do it hours before I apply this. So when I come home from work, I actually wash my face as soon as I get home in the shower and just to get all that stuff I may have been exposed to in clinic. Also, I'm wearing a mask all day. I wanna clean my pores out. And then hours later at bedtime when my face is dry, I'm gonna apply my retinoid cream. You apply your retinoid cream, it's a pea size amount, green pea size amount. I know a lot of people don't believe me on this, but I've done this thousands of times over the last eight years and it's definitely all you need. You don't need more because if you do, you're gonna come to clinic and see me and you're gonna be all beet red and irritated and your skin's gonna be peeling. So if you are a beginner, definitely start off with a small amount and maybe start off every other day or maybe twice a week just to start an increase to nightly. The question I get a lot is, can I treat my neck? Yes, but be very careful. Your neck is quite sensitive, so you definitely don't wanna go crazy and put tons of pea size amounts on your neck. You can do half a pea size to start and then work your up to maybe another pea size for your neck, depending how big your neck is, but if you just do that a few times a week, just so that you don't run into trouble of getting a big red rash on your neck. Also, don't use any retinoid creams if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. These um, vitamin A derived creams can uh, maybe go systemic, but maybe not a big amount, but who wants to take that chance when you are dealing with baby? I always, I always say I'm a less is more type of person when it comes to pregnancy, not sunscreen, but when it comes to pregnancy and using these active ingredients, um, you know, you definitely don't wanna mess around with that. So let's jump into this, let's apply this to the face. So we got this nice pump here. I have been using this for a long time. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you know I have been uh, mentioning this serum, this retinol serum for a while. It was on my top five list of 2020 and I'm still gonna talk about it in 2021 because it's still up there for those affordable, accessible retinols you can find online or in store. Oh, so that retinol, I was a pea size amount and then it just kind of uh, liquefied here. Try that again. Let's get it all out. Let's do a pea size. That's about a pea size, okay? And what I do is I break it up, put little miniature dots on your face. Don't forget your nose, because a lot of times that's where you want to clean out those blackheads, the sebaceous filaments that will block that up. You want to keep those pores clean so they don't stretch and get bigger. And then you just connect the dots. Pretty simple. And this, what I've liked, is that it feels so nice and silky when it goes on my face. It rubs in very well. And that's what I always wanna look for in my retinols, is that how does it feel? Because a lot of times we can't compare the concentration of them, but tolerability is a huge factor in your retinols. Because if you can't tolerate it, you're not gonna use it and you won't get all the great benefits from a retinol. Tolerability is huge, affordability is huge, and also accessibility, how easy is it to get to? I love Alpharet, but it seems like it can be a little bit harder to find. It's not your local drugstore. Again, you might be able to find it online, um, but it's not as easy as something like this. So we talked about those three things. Plus, how does it feel on my face? Does it make me go to bed feeling nice and smooth? This one does. So this checks off a lot of the boxes. It's accessible, it's affordable, and it's by a reputable brand. It's very good for sensitive skin, great for beginners. So those are all the pros behind this. I can't really think of too many cons for this at all. I mean, the pump has been working fine. There's some times where I deal, with a, I deal with a serum with a dropper and the dropper malfunctions every, one, every once in a while and it's really hard to dispense the medicine. I like this one because the airtight pump has been reliable, very easy to use, very, doesn't take up a lot of space on my counter. Um, and it has our niacinamide, it has great ingredients. So in terms of my score for this, I'd have to give it a nine out of 10. So. Uh, I'd have to say that my retinols is gonna be hard to find a 10 out of 10 because it's in terms of potency, I'll have to ding it because it's not gonna be as effective as like my prescription stuff, my Retin-A, Tretinoins. It's not gonna be as strong as those. So I'm gonna have to say this is probably the best you can do. 
uh, up there with Olay Retinol 24. The other things that stand in my mind are Neutrogena's Rapid Wrinkle Repair. Those are all great ones. I'm gonna have to compare this one to the sister, the Skin Renewing Retinol Serum. So I'm gonna do a compares and have them side by side uh, very soon, okay? So stay tuned for that one. Also, when you end your routine, you could, if you're dry, you could put a layer of moisturizer on. You could do their CeraVe PM lotion, or I can just do a video soon on just moisturizers that go well with retinols. Uh, so please leave a comment down below if you've tried this or even the purple one, the renewing uh, retinol serum. And uh, please like the video, please share with your friends. And thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys for your support this past year. I've had a lot of fun with you. I hope we can keep the fun going. All right, take care and peace.